All right, family, how's it going? So I meant to talk about this yesterday. You know, get caught up with the family. It's actually, it's family time. But uh, I'm just running a few errands here. But hope you, everybody's had a good day today. So I want to talk a little bit about the situation that happens uh, on the border. I mean, it's really, really bad. Out there in the El Paso, uh, Juarez, okay? And it's probably a situation very similar out there in Laredo, which is very, very south part of Texas, Brownsville area, and San Diego slash Tijuana, but particularly like in El Paso, all right? Where there's been a lot of people from Venezuela, Colombia, that are at the border, you know, hopefully trying to get across the gateway to the, what is called, I don't know, the American dream. And I don't think it's all that, but it's still better than probably most places. So I, uh, I want to talk about this Title 24. So non-verbatim, Title 24 is when like a movement or like a flock of, of people, all right, uh, they're trying to find refuge, all right, becomes a, like a, a public health risk. <clears throat> and something has to be, you know, uh, decide, uh, well, decided if they're going to, this is the U.S. government. If they're going to take these, you know, these people in or they have to deny the people from coming across the border. Right now, from my understanding, from looking at NBC News last night, it was about 4,500 people at the border trying to get across. I mean, it's really, really crowded. People are like sleeping on the streets of the airport. It's really not a pretty sight to see. Uh, it's supposed to be in somewhere in the neighborhood of a thousand people had died on the border, children, you know, because of COVID and, you know, lack of immunizations, that type of stuff. All right. Not having the, the proper immunizations. Okay. And what's going on right now is title 24 is being temporary, uh, temporarily upheld by the, by the U S government. It's supposed to be 19 states had applied to, uh, to the Supreme Court to, uh, to keep Title 24 uh, temporarily in, in place until they decide what they want to do now. Biden and his administration is trying to, you know, counteract that. But it's all political, y'all, okay? And I'm able to see what's going on for somebody that has claimed that I can't see or I can't hear. Because there's a lot of different distractions going on and there's a political battle all right between the supreme court the government the, the biden administration and the fed okay where all this stuff and even sports okay or even some of these so-called religious incidents like uh lamora bishop lamora whitehead they're all distractions y'all to what's really really going on Okay, and this government got some issues. So I want to let y'all know, you know, you people, if, if, uh, any of the, the Latino people that are coming from Central America to America, yeah, things may appear to be better, but it's not all what it's cracked up to be. And we got problems over here, particularly the government. Okay, now if you really studied about government, okay, about the three tier, -tier system, Republican and mainly Democrat government. I can see why the Republicans and so forth don't want this to happen because that means more people are going to come over here. They're going to get help and they're going to vote Democrat. This is the reason why Joe Biden wants this to happen. President Slow Joe. Okay. But when interviews, one of the city managers in Juarez, okay, were also saying that this was a public, uh, what is it, a, a public health health issue. And he may say something that made a lot of sense, okay? That the Biden administration, I really don't think that they really care about you. It's really all about numbers, just so they get a vote, 
okay? Because behind your back, okay, that they'll call he'll call you thugs and criminals and all this other stuff, and you taking their jobs, but then again, they let you across the border, okay? Just for the vote. All right, to them, you're nothing but a number. And I'm just here this to bring that out. If I can reach to two or three of you guys or ladies, and you can share this with other people, then I think that I've done my job for the day. Okay. But uh for the most part, all these incidents are going on while the government, this stuff like this is happening out there in El Paso. Shout out to all uh, my family and friends or anybody out there in El Paso, Fort Bliss. I, I lived out there for three years. Okay, there's anybody listening to, to this video. Shout out to the ELP, the 915. You know, had some great times over there. But let me know what you think about that border situation and so forth. But I'm just giving you the harsh, true reality of what's going on and why this is happening. It's all political, like I said. All right. Thank you for your time, ladies and gentlemen.